You're okay. Yes. I'll do all I possibly can. I know you think you can send me some more Jack's been seen. I give you thanks. Okay. I think I can do something about it. May take a hold though, some changes and replacements. But you can pack up until then. I'll do my best. Thank you. Bye. I met the commander for the first time, introducing myself as a journalist. I asked him whether he knew Jack. He promised me to search for him once realized I am his wife. I want to find Jack's friends and talk to them. We are supposed to head toward the forest for some operation. I hope I can take a good amount of photos and things to go back with Jack. I don't know what to do. I ask everyone about him. In vain, I am lost. Perhaps it's not the right moment. I couldn't find a better time. I couldn't come to terms with myself. What are you talking about? What's this? Hide it somewhere. There are things about Jack that... Come on, people! Faster! the lights to sleep, I ask myself this question. Have I done everything that I can do to unite this country? Have I done everything I can to help unite the world, to try to bring peace and hope to all the peoples of the world? We will choose life. And so doing, we will prevail over the enemies within man and over the natural enemies of all mankind. To Dr. Eisenhower and Mr. Garland and this great institution, John Hopkins, I thank you for this opportunity to convey my thoughts to you, to the American people.
What the hell is wrong with you? Where the hell are you going? I told you get back here. Get that maggot. Mrs. Ryan, I wish to inform you about this several times, but I was afraid to. I want to tell you in person, but I couldn't get around to it. Perhaps it was the only way. About Jack, I must inform you that about two months ago, Jack stopped some people beating the children so brutally to death. The commander got so mad about it. Why do we have to kill innocent people? Are you gonna disobey my commands? But they're innocent. I won't let you hurt them. They're a bunch of animals. A good Vietnamese is a dead one. You feel like you must stand trial in international courts. You're a disgrace. You must be rid of.